morning, Comstock High School. Today's Thursday, April 28th, and this is Mackenzie. And Caitlin, bringing you today's announcement. Today's word of the day is brevity, a noun meaning concise and exact use of words in writing or speech. Today is going to be cloudy with a low 41 and a high 52. Today in the lunch line, you'll find a veggie lover's pizza, a Philly cheesesteak, and a cheddar ranch and chicken wrap. Prom tickets are still being sold every day this week at lunch. You better buy them quick because Friday is the last day they're being sold. The cost is $40 per person. If you are inviting a guest who is not currently a student here at CHS, pick up and complete a guest pass located in the office. Guest passes must be returned to the office for Mr. Cunningham's approval no later than this Friday, April 29th. Now to Kalisa and Raj with sports. On Tuesday night, the JV baseball team traveled to Buchanan to play ball. They gave an outstanding team effort, but lost both games. The varsity girls softball team lost two games to tough Buchanan team. They'll play again this weekend at Agro Lake Invitation. Come out and support us. The varsity baseball team hosted stay ranked Buchanan last night. Behind the great pitching efforts of Logan Teller and Shane Easter, the outstanding defense of the Colts held the Bucks in check as the Colts took both games, 4-2 and 2-1. Cal Armanovich, Max Rafflesson, Jamil Davis, and Eric Miller had great defensive games, while Dylan LaBree's two-run double in the first game and Eric Miller's RBI single in the second game gave the Colts all the runs they need. Two great team efforts. Thank you to the Blanket Brigade who came out to support us on a cold evening. You made a huge difference. The Colts host Galesburg on Friday and travel to Hastings on Saturday. Way to go, Colts. Keep up the great work. Now back to you, Mac and Thanks, Raj and Kalisa. Yesterday, we had a total of 23 unexcused tardies. Wait, what did you just say? 23 unexcused tardies. 23 unexcused tardies? But didn't we have 15 the day before? Sure did. I think the number should be going down rather than up. I, I have no words. No. I don't, continue, Caitlin, because I can't right now. All right. Attention seniors, if you have any accrued debt during your Comstock career, it must be paid in full with cash or money order or money order before you will receive your cap and gown. Please make sure you take care of this. It could jeopardize you walking in commencement. Please see Ms. Dibler in the attendance office if you have any questions. First you're getting tardies. Next thing you know, you're not paying off your debts. I, I don't know what you want from me, Comstock, but I can't I can't handle it. I can't handle this behavior. I'm, uh, I'm one person, trying to make a living, trying to have a good life, trying to live my life, but uh, I can't with all this nonsense, nonsense and all this, all this tardiness, all this, I'm really, I'm really agitated. Caitlin, please. Anyway, in other news, there are only 21 days left until senior's last day. Also, seniors, senior point permission slips and money are still due on next week, Monday, May 2nd. You still have to turn those bad boys into Mrs. Gruder or Mrs. Adams. Remember to turn your stuff in soon or you might not get a spot in that great trip. Today's fun fact is from Mac. Did you know that the killer whale, also known as Orca, is actually a type of dolphin? I sure didn't know that, even, even though I, I told everyone that fun fact. If you need something in the news, talk to any of us here at the WBNC or email Mrs. Gruder. This has been Caitlin and Mackenzie on the WBNC, the White and Blue News Crew. See, see, see you, you later. later, alligator. Don't be tardy.